A child's adorable face and smile is nothing to take for granted. The Children's Health Care of Atlanta Center for Craniofacial Disorders takes children's health and happiness to heart. With an advanced multidisciplinary approach, innovative research, and leading edge technology, the Center for Craniofacial Disorders helps children look and feel better every day. The center treats cleft lip and palate, facial trauma, and craniofacial syndrome such as Cruzone syndrome. It also treats head deformities such as craniosynostosis. The dedicated team of experts helps to change the lives of children and their families every day. One of those children is Sarah Chickberry, who suffers from Cruzone syndrome. Sarah Chickberry is smiling and happy now, but it wasn't always like that. There was a point when I was about 11 or 12 and I was going, ugh, hide me from these pictures. She and her mom are at the center, a place Sarah's known since she was five. She's a, a little girl that presented with uh, typical things that we see in cruise on, the very shallow orbits, uh, problems with breathing, especially when she was sleeping. Sarah had pressure on her brain because certain bones in her skull fused too soon. Her medical journey included several surgeries. It was a different experience, so from a six-year-old's point of view, it was kind of fun. Dr. Fernando Burstein, medical director of the Center for Craniofacial Disorders, was Sarah's surgeon and was instrumental in developing her treatment plan. I, I like the way I look better. Um, Dr. Burstein, I think, did a pretty good job. <laughs> I mean, we just love Dr. Burstein. We call him the artist. The facilities are wonderful. I, everybody. I, I just got nothing but good things to say about children's. Sarah has one more surgery. With her attitude, she'll get through it just fine. Everyone's got their own story, and that's how I look at it. This is my story. Mine's different than the next person's, and anyone that has cruise lungs is going to have a different story. Sarah's in good hands at Children's. U.S. News and World Report and Parents Magazine rank Children's among the top pediatric hospitals in the nation. The center sees the highest volume of children with cleft lip and palate in the country. Max Christina of Columbus, Georgia is one of those kids. Meet Max. He's like any other toddler, thrilled with mom and dad's attention. But this little guy has been through quite an ordeal. His dad, Thomas, knew something was wrong right away. I noticed a definite crease in his lip, but that was something I needed to get some answers on. I was nervous, though, and I'm still nervous, because you, you don't know the, the, the long term, how he's going to look and, and, and how he's going to speak. The Christina's pediatrician referred them to the Center for Craniofacial Disorders. But arriving at Children's, I was just so impressed and so lifted. And I saw the facility, and then when I saw Dr. Burstein and talked to him, you know, I knew that I was in the right place. Dr. Burstein knew exactly what Max would need. Max is a typical child that presents with a cleft lip and some palatal involvement. His was fairly mild and subtle, but it was still there. Max needed surgery soon. His parents were concerned about anesthesia. Max wasn't even two years old, and in addition to the cleft surgery, he needed tubes in his ears and minor surgery for a genital problem. The Gerstinas were thrilled when Dr. Burstein said all three surgeries could be done on the same day and Max would only need to be sedated once. We were so lucky to be so nearby to Children's and have that facility. Trust what those doctors say up there. They're wonderful, smart, educated, warm, um, lovely people who really just want to help your child. The multidisciplinary team approach of the center offers added convenience for patient families. All in one place they can find surgeons, feeding specialists, dentists, orthodontists, and geneticists. Pediatric neurosurgeons will often partner with plastic and craniofacial surgeons in the operating room, offering a unique collaboration of surgical expertise that helps increase the chances of a positive outcome. We collaborate formulating a plan, each different specialty bringing their particular area of expertise to bear on that plan. But perhaps most importantly, the collaboration occurs in the operating room where we operate on these patients together. Dr. John Risky is the director of the Speech Pathology Lab at the Center for Craniofacial Disorders. Speech is integral to kids with cleft palate. When the palate is cleft, you can't talk normally. 
So we work with the surgeons to design the various surgeries to put the palate back in working order. We work with the dentists and the orthodontist to make sure that the teeth are in good position. And along the way, the emotional needs of the families and child are also addressed. Each year, thanks to donor support, dozens of kids with craniofacial disorders go to Camp Courage where they can feel like any other child. The parents need the support of others as well. Bonnie Pepper, nurse coordinator for the Center for Craniofacial Disorders, oversees a support group for families. Parents just love it. They were so happy to have each other, to talk about what it's like to have a child with these differences. With donor support, Children's offers leading edge technology for innovative treatments and faster recoveries. Nasal alveolar molding, or NAM for short, is an orthodontic device used prior to cleft lip and palate surgery to help improve results. Lasers are now used to treat hemangiomas. Mandibular distractors are used for children born with a small jaw. The distractor helps gradually expand the bone, relieving feeding and breathing issues and creating a better aesthetic appearance. With the generous support of the community, the center can continue to give children the best chance of fulfilling their dreams, whether it's a beautiful new outlook for Sarah or a handsome new smile for Max.